Welcome to Translating the Easy Way with me, Jonas Rapp. First, I'll show you the hard way of making translations for Microsoft Dynamics 365 customer engagement. Then I will show you the easy way by using the Easy Translator in XRM Toolbox. This is a tool created by Tangu Tassard that really helps you narrowing down what you want to translate and actually getting help on what you are translating. So let's go. First, I'll show you how to do translations the old fashioned way. I go to my solution. Find the export translations button. Notice the big bad warning here. This could take several minutes. So now the translation zip file is downloaded. I copy the translation's XML file within it and place it in my working folder. To open this, I will right click and select open with Excel. This Excel file contains all translations for all components in our solution. Display strings are mostly messages presented to the user from the application. And the localized labels contains everything else, basically attribute names, sitemap sections, form names, uh, you name it. Here we see that we are missing Swedish translation for the solution and publisher friendly name. Next thing we're missing is description and display name for some object on the account entity. If we look closer, we see that translations belong to entity account and an object with a GUID that we don't know what it represents, and it's the display name and description. But those are all the hints we get. So I continue scrolling down to find the new entities I've added. At the bottom of the file I find ribbon customizations, some app module translations, and sitemap elements, etc. I want to find the attribute and entity and form translations for my rockets entity. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. There, finally I found it. The entity names are not in alphabetical order. The object IDs don't really help anything. So the only thing I can use to know what I'm translating is the translation for the default language. But we've already wasted way too much time here. Let's go to XRM Toolbox instead. Now welcome to XRM Toolbox and the Easy Translator. Start with loading the entities from the solution you're working on. I will select my rocket entity. Then I can select exactly which localizable objects I want to include in the translation file. When you have selected all the options, simply export all translations to an Excel file. Open the Excel sheet, the first thing you see is the tabs for each type of component you're translating. On the Entities tab, I can enter the name and collection name of the entities included in the solution. On the Attributes tab, notice that you see both the entity name and the name of the attribute you are translating. So I can easily add my Swedish translations to the Rocket solution. Looking at the state and status option sets, for instance, we see that we get some translations for free by the platform. When I'm done translating, I will save as with this file to a new name so I have a backup of the original translations. Put the translations to the organization, just hit the import tab and then browse to the updated file. 
Now click Import Translations and relax while XRM Toolbox imports your translations. Finally, we want to verify the import of the new translations and see that we can now use the system in Swedish. Currently, the form is still in English. So I'll update my user settings to show Swedish instead. Now that the form is reloaded, I see that all my form components have Swedish labels instead. Thank you for watching and I hope you have learned how easy it really can be to translate your Dynamics 365 customer engagement environment.